The world of the small, bore, dual sport motorcycles have been making a comeback. And for most, there is no questioning the reason why. Getting straight to the topic, why small bore motorcycles are one of the most popular choices in today's market is pretty simple, user friendliness, simplicity, affordability, and versatility. I am sorry, and I hate to admit it, but chances of you finding a new, out of the showroom 400cc dual sport for under $8,000 is just not going to happen. I am not sure the marketing behind it, but most 200 to 300cc bikes can be found, out of the showroom, for under $8,000 out the door. But here comes Honda, with its well-innovated motorcycle. The 300L was a major hit, and still is a major hit, and hands down, it did not take long for the budget-friendly, enduro, dual sport is what we call it, to be one of the top dual sport motorcycles in today's world. And sure, there are many top choices out there, such as the DRZ400, KLX300, DR650, WR250R, and so on. But what exactly made the CRF300L a top-selling motorcycle? This specific bike wrapped up thousands of sales in just under a year. So what was the secret power of that CRF300L made by Honda? According to the manager of Honda, the secret combination is pretty simple, versatility and affordability. You combine those two, and you have the best of both worlds. And sure, there are other plenty of bikes out there that can outperform the CRF300L, but in my honest opinion, not many can compare to what you get for the price tag. It is an affordable, highly capable dirt bike for $5,000. And what makes the 300L a secret weapon is the capabilities of this dual sport in the off-road world. Also, in many states, you cannot play the dirt bike, while the CRF300L comes close to an enduro feel, legally plated, and yet, a great price tag. You can legit use it for work, a quick city run, but yet, explore the backcountry and hit some single track. When I test rode the CRF300L, I was honestly amazed how well, the little CRF300L handles the harsher terrain. And sure, the suspension is incredibly soft, but it was not that bad. They also sell many aftermarket parts, or even stiffer springs to help with that. Even for aggressive trail riders, the CRF300L is right at home in the tighter semi-technical trails. The CRF300L offers the perfect blend of on-road efficiency and a more aggressive off-road capability. And to sum that up, the CRF300L is the definition of a perfect mix of a dual sport. It features a torquey and approachable engine for all skill levels, nimble suspension and flickable design for the tighter stuff. It really is an agile bike built for true adventure riders who demand versatility, performance at a fraction of a cost, compared to what is out there. With this lightweight dual sport motorcycle, you can say, a journey will instantly become a day full of exciting exploration. One of the things that grabs my attention about the CRF300L is, although I feel it belongs in the category of an aggressive dual sport, but is the versatility of a comfortable seating position. With a long, motocross style type of seat, you can move forward and back, left and right with ease versus large dual sport models, which really does help navigate the changing terrain when things get aggressive. But on top of that, when you are just tired and need a break time, you can sit down and enjoy the comfort that the CRF300L brings, especially with its plush suspension. Me as an aggressive enduro rider, there are times when I just do not have the energy to stand up anymore. So I remember being on my KTM, eager to get back on flowy, wide open roads. The reason for that is the suspensions of the KTM. They are firm and designed to be aggressive with the harsh hits at speed, making sitting down on an enduro bike a task on its own. Sure the CRF300L is a lot more plush versus the more aggressive models, but when the day is long, believe me when I say, you will be glad to have a plush ride when you are just too tired to continue on with the harsh hits. Anyhow, let me know why you hate or even love the CRF300L in the comments below.